first, up to 80 people have been killed by a double blast in Syria's northern city of Aleppo that rocked a university there. The building is believed to have been housing refugees. Our correspondent Paula Slear joins me live now with the details. Paula, tell us more about the targets of this attack. Well, the information we have at the moment is more than 80 people who have been killed and more than 160 people who have been injured. But that number is expected to climb and climb dramatically as many of those who've been wounded are in critical condition in hospital. We know that there were two explosions at the University of Aleppo. It happened on the first day of examinations. The state television has banded this a terrorist act, saying that terrorists launched rockets at the campus, although activists on the ground say that the explosions were caused by missiles that were fired by warplanes. Immediately following the explosions, a number of cars went up in fire. There were bodies strewn across the street, and tearful survivors managed to find refuge refuge in a nearby building. Now we know that the campus is home to university students but also an additional 30,000 people who have found refuge there since fighting broke out in Syria in July last year. At the same time the university is in an area that is under the control of government forces and what we've witnessed in Aleppo is the constant fighting between rebels and troops loyal to the Syrian president Bashar Assad. This has left the city divided and the fighting by and large has been in a stalemate position for quite some time. Now Russia has said that it has suspended its operations at its consulate in Aleppo and that if necessary it will evacuate its citizens from Syria. What about the nature of this bombing? Are terrorist tactics a growing trend now in Syria? We're certainly witnessing these kind of tactics as a growing trend in Syria. Again, since July last year, there has been constant fighting and increasingly in Aleppo, which was the commercial hub of the country before this civil war and this intensive fighting broke out about a year and a half ago. Aleppo also has been a major front in the conflict between government troops and rebel fighters who constantly exchange rockets as well as mortar rounds with each other. In recent months, we have witnessed both in Aleppo and also in the capital city of Damascus, a wave of suicide bombings, a lot of it happening in terms of car bombings with dozens of people being killed. The Most of the bombings are targeting government buildings and more often than not, responsibility is being claimed by the rebel group. So what you have really is a rebellion across the country that is destabilizing the situation on the ground. It is also making extremist activity more and more possible. Paula, thanks very much indeed for that. That's RT's Paula Slear reporting there.